there are a lot of things that we obviously point the finger out when it comes to the neoliberal establishment, but we are going to address in a unique way uh, the fact that the GOP establishment, uh, they can't seem to get Taylor Swift's name out of their mouth, but there's a bigger problem here that isn't being addressed. And of course, this is why we always say that it's kind of like when the Democrats only wanted to talk about Trump and Russia. Like that was the only thing that was wrong. Even though Trump had a... Let's ask you what they're saying about Taylor Swift. It's fun that you say that because we're going to play it now. So oh, here we good. go. And Bye. the way you do that is by taking the most brain dead, low information voters. Of course, I'm talking about Swifties, Taylor Swift fans. That's so this is ben, so this is Benny Johnson. Who he is, is that? A, he's a sycophant for Donald Trump and runs a conservative channel. Uh, he just sounds like an idiot. Yeah. So first of all, where do you get the idea that Taylor Swift fans are the dumbest voters? Why? Because she tells them to register to vote. Or basically, what he's doing is he's it's their version of deplorables, and he's just basically like Swifties are stupid. I don't know what you. First of all. Um, the people that I know who like took their kids to that aren't stupid. Um, but here's the thing. What give him that? Like, where does he basing that on? Why are they stupid? I mean, okay, I'm not really into teeny bopper shit. And I think the stupid bracelets don't look fun to me. And that's not my bag. But that doesn't go as to the intelligence I of these no people. Issue. I have no issue with her. But oh, no, I have no issue with I have, I, I have. I have an issue with Travis Kelsey, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> sort of worship this artist kind of like at random right like just out of the blue suddenly I'm taylor swift's the most famous person on earth <laughs> now she's at every nfl game she is with not her boyfriend famous person on earth who's taylor swift has been making music for a dozen years maybe more uh, 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 way long and has been a way public known name for a whole hell of a writes lot longer all, than her dating this guy writes all her own music she does um, she writes all her own music I just, I don't, I, these people are so desperate to pick and blame somebody that, seriously, Taylor Swift? Really? Like, what has she done other than encourage people to vote? I don't understand. Backed by Bud Light and Pfizer. Travis Kelsey is this guy who also kind of out of the blue became this big time celebrity. Really rich, really powerful. Why? He's a tight end. He's like a glorified lineman. That doesn't make any sense. Tight ends aren't famous people in football. What are you talking about? What? They are when they're that freaking good. Travis Kelsey is... And I'm not a fan of the Chiefs, but damn. Travis Kelsey <laughs> is right up there with Tony Gonzalez, with Rob Gronkowski, with Mark Bavaro, the greatest tight ends in the history of the NFL. Right. Like, yes, when somebody is really that good, they get famous. And I got they some... get to be on the Wheaties box. And Travis Kelsey has personality, whether you like it or not. Well, like, I don't Kelsey like the was... pharma horse. That's shit. a whole other story. See, now, if you want to go after anything, you can that go after the like. fact that Travis Kelsey, who is in line because he's tight with Patrick Mahomes, NFL's golden boy, who has been doing... Ca... <coughs> it gets God. to a point... I mean, listen, we love Peyton Manning. I do. But there, get, there gets to a point where it's it's totally gluttonous in your approach. Like, there's no ad that you will not get paid no, to do. No, but, but and, and that's, it for me, the pharma thing really changes my perspective so on people. So if you're willing to take a $20 million check from Pfizer yeah. that tells you to go out there and get needled in your, I, I and mean. promote it. I'm sorry. That's really messed up. And again, I'm not is. making a commentary on my thoughts on getting needled. Mm -hmm. I just, I, to me, someone that makes that kind of money playing ball doesn't need to be taking pharma money. And there are many other representing oppor sponsorship opportunities. And so I just, I think that that's telling. And here's what I will also say about Travis Kelsey. He'll never be out there advocating for universal health care through a single payer system. Why? Because if we had that, he wouldn't be able to get paid. Oh, that's 20. what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. You know what? If they're really, and I hear you, Trevor, that's probably, <laughs> no, 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 put that up because that is really what it is. That's the break. That is what it is, is they don't like that. They believe that Taylor Swift is spreading some wokeness uh, into the NFL. And what, what I find interesting, and maybe she is, I don't know, but you know what? It could use it. 
And I don't mean it in a snowflake way. I mean it in a, I don't love the complete merge between the NFL and the military that has somehow happened over the past however many years. JR, you're going to have to prove that. I'm not aware of Taylor Swift I, performing in Tel Aviv. And if she like has, that. shame on her for doing yeah. that. And I respect artists that don't. Again, I'm not a Swifty. I don't, I don't mean, that's ridiculous. I'm just, she is not what ails us. That's what I'm saying. What world are we living in? Sure seems planned. Sure seems like something that is like concocted in order to accelerate the fame of these two people. Get them right, to the Super Bowl, the largest screens on earth. He's stupid. Get maybe I'm a get maybe like a proposal after the game. This might this is what I think is gonna happen. There's gonna be so like some what? type of proposal at the after the Super Bowl. Cool. Is rigged for the Chiefs. And then idea. the two of these people become it's like reach like crazy levels of absolute fame and then they take all that fame that has been given to them by the rotted corporate press media entertainment industry that explicitly backs democrats and then they use that in order Ooh. to try and save joe biden okay you they know what i want to do oh pause this i so wish we could right now superimpose that speech from seinfeld in the limo when it talks about when the it talks Jews. about the jews use the blacks do you remember that are you, gonna, what, are you gonna open with that? <laughs> so that's how ridiculous he sounds to me. Like, and yes, do I think that there's capitalism and marketing at play involving these two people here? Absolutely. And if I were a PR person for the Chiefs and one of our players was dating Taylor Swift, I'd be working that for all it's worth. And she's been bringing in so much. She's like brought in tons of money to the to the Chiefs organization because they've been having more attendance than they ever have. So, you know, yes. That's exactly what I would do. Um, and as somebody who studied PR, yes, it's actually smart, but she, she's not nefarious. Like Cheryl, I don't understand. Cheryl, I don't know if it's a hate watch thing with the NFL because the NFL already has the highest ratings yeah, they, out of anything in society. I mean, especially the Super Bowl. Like if we're gonna talk about Super Bowl views, there aren't good but all, this all but, you're getting are yes, are you gonna increase teeny boppers watching the Super Bowl? Maybe maybe, maybe. if she's there, but she, well now she's not only gonna be there, she's gonna be front and center at the Super Bowl. She is gonna get her own segment. They are gonna pan to her in the stands anytime Kansas City, especially Kelsey, does anything good. And, and good, and why you not? You know what? When 150 million people are watching it, that's what's gonna happen. It's I just, much prefer that than their link to the military. Agree. I am so sick and tired of NFL simping for the military industrial complex. That is way more of a concern to me and their bullshit against like things like, I don't know, rights of free speech. That is way more of an issue to me than them being able to profit off of- uh, so, uh, Colonella, Colonella wants us to know that he only watches it to see Taylor Swift. Okay. That's his only reason. And good I'm for sure you. He's She's cute. All right, I don't, that's the thing, I don't care. Frankly, the I thing don't have that, a problem the, with any of here's that. Here's the thing that makes it so interesting. They're because cute. If you think about it, Taylor Swift really comes off as sort of a model of what you would think conservative America would want to she see is. as a superstar. She is. That's the, the thing. idea that they go after her. The fact that she's anything but somebody like Nicki Minaj should tell you all you need to know about who you really should be putting up there. But because she doesn't sin for the Republican Party, she's an enemy of the people. But she she's hasn't. I haven't seen her do anything other than recommend that her followers register to vote. So. Again, I don't see her being political in any way. What is their problem? Like their assumption, oh, big media is paying her and they, they're with the Democratic Party. He's making so many ridiculous jumps to come up with information. This is a very, very small-minded individual. What I will also say, not just about Benny Johnson, but just people in general, you've got to remember something. With Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey and Kansas City in the Super Bowl and the fact that the Super Bowl isn't Exactly for this, too. Yeah. Exactly. This is for two weeks. Exactly, their 501c3 status that they yeah, were able to- 501 st oh, it's five, it is here. It was, and right. now they're it's they're not. losing it. I but, here's, but here's the thing that's very important that you have to remember. They want this. They may act like they don't, but they want this because it isn't a question of watching the NFL. The NFL is gonna get its ratings no matter what. It's the talking heads that have to have something to bullshit about for the next several weeks because it gets ratings. That's the whole idea. It's that we can talk about this over and over and over again. And all the while, you're not even getting to the heart of what I find to be the one huge issue here, and that is Travis Kelsey being a pharma whore. 
That to me is the problem. That bothers me. But does it bother me any more than being, yeah, I guess so, because that's the one in healthcare. Because I think about when they're doing insurance, like when I think about like Peyton, but it's it's for casual, it's, um, what he does it for um, conservative nationwide. Friend, conservative friend of the show, base chat, Thunderjock wants us to know she sits for the left big time. Plenty of evidence for that, which is what makes her an enemy of the people. So, oh. I get, so, so there it is. Okay. okay. Well, let's finish this out. And, but it probably has something and to do with see in October, LGBTQ. the release of like a, well, what will look like a hostage video or a visiting angels ad, right? Visiting angels. And I'll have Joe Biden sitting there all like twisted up like a, you know, in a wheelchair, like an eggplant. And he's glazed over skin like a Krispy Kreme donut. Yeah, I don't want it. Why are we watching this? It's ruling out of the side of his mouth. And Taylor Swift and Mr. Bud Light Pfizer will come in and pat Grandpa on the shoulder and tell all of their brain-dead fans to go vote for him. Taylor Swift, of course, also a psyop for the NFL wives out there. A psyop? A psyop now. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Uh, you know, usually you wouldn't think that making a video like this would make any difference because I can distinctly remember, as I'm sure you do as well. Rem That's a remember back in 20 Jeez. remember back in 2016 <laughs> when Hillary had every single celebrity in mass coming out in support of her, and Trump was basically all by himself. And he's like, I totally got this. And he totally did have it. So what do you care if Taylor Swift is supporting Joe Biden? You think that's what's going to be the difference in the election? If I'm, that is, if, if, if Taylor Swift gets Joe Biden over the finish line, then Trump never deserved to win anyway. Not just that, not just that. But then, man, we should be voting for Taylor Swift. Get that's Taylor some Swift power. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get Jesus, rock. that's get like the parliamentarian. I mean, yeah. I shit, man, if, if Taylor Swift is so powerful and threatening that, that Donald Trump could lose? I don't know, man. I, we, should, we should consider drafting her to run. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.